good day and it's day 44 of the 365 um, day reading the Bible in a year so we got 321 days left <laughs> but anyway uh, today we're gonna read uh, Leviticus chapter 14 then it's um, Matthew chapter 26 verses 51 through 75 the King James Version Leviticus 14 and the Lord spake unto Moses saying this should be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing he should be brought unto the priest and the priest should go forth out of the camp and the priest should look and behold that the plague of the leprosy be healed in the leper he then should the priest command to take from them that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop the priest should command that one of the birds be killed in the earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he should take it and the cedar wood and the scarlet and the hyssop and should dip them in the living bird and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he should sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times and should pronounce him clean and should let the living bird loose into the open field. And he that is to be cleansed shall wash his clothes and shave off all his hair and wash himself in water that he may be clean. And after that he shall come into the camp and shall tarry abroad out of his tent seven days. But it should be on the seventh day that he shall shave all his hair off his head and his beard and his eyebrows. Even all his hair he shall shave off and he shall wash his clothes. Also he shall wash his flesh in water and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day, he should take two he lambs without blemish and one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish and three tenth deals of fine flour for meat offering mingled with oil and one log of oil. And the priest that maketh him clean should present the man that is to be made clean and those things before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall take one he lamb and offer him for a trespass offering and the log of oil and wave them for wave offering before the Lord. And he shall slay the lamb in the place where he should kill the sin offering and the burnt offering in the holy place for as the sin offering is the priest, so is the trespass offering it is most holy. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of the right ear, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest should take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest should put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of the right hand, and upon the great toe of the right foot. And the priest should take some of the log of oil and pour it into the palm of his left hand, and the priest should dip his right finger in the oil that is in his left hand and should sprinkle of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And of the rest of the oil that is in his hand shall the priest put upon the tip of his right ear of him that is to be cleansed and upon the thumb of his right hand and upon the great toe of his right foot upon the blood of the trespass offering. And the remnant of the oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall pour upon the head of him that is to be cleansed. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord. And the priest shall offer the sin offering and make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed from his uncleanness. And afterward he shall kill the burnt offering. And the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the meat offering upon the altar. And the priest shall make an atonement for him and he shall be clean. And if he be poor and cannot get so much, then he shall take one lamb for a trespass offering and be waived to make an atonement for him. And one tenth deal of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering and a log of oil. And the two turtle doves or two pigeons such as he is able to get. And the one shall be a sin offering and the other a burnt offering. And he shall bring them on the eighth day of the cleansing unto the priest unto the door of the tabernacles of the congregation before the Lord. And the priest shall 
take the lamb of the trespass offering and of the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering, and the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of the right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil into the palm of his own left hand, and the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put of the oil that is in his hand upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of the right hand, and upon the great toe of the right foot, upon the place of the blood of trespass offering. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall put upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, to make an atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer the one of the turtle doves, or of the young pigeons, such as he can get, even such as he's able to get, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, and the meat offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law of him in whom is the plague of leprosy, whose hand is not able to get that which pertained to his cleansing. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, When ye come into the land of Canaan, which I give to you for your possession, and I put the plague of leprosy in the house of the land of your possession, and he that owneth the house should come and tell the priest, saying, It seemeth to me there is as it were a plague in the house. Then the priest should command that they empty the house before the priest go into it to see the plague, that all that is in the house be not made unclean. And afterward the priest should go in to see the house, and he should look on the plague, and behold, if the plague be in the walls of the house, with hollow streaks, greenish or reddish, which is in sight or lower than the wall, then the priest should go out of the house of the door of the house, and shut up the house seven days. And the priest shall come again the seventh day, and shall look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the walls of the house, then the priest shall command that they take away the stones in which the plague is, and they shall cast them into an unclean place without the city. And he shall cause the house to be scrap, scraped within round about, and they shall pour out the dust that they scrape off of without the city in an unclean place. And they shall take other stones and put them in the place of those stones, and he shall cover, and he shall take other mortar and shall pla plaster the house. And if the plague come again and break out in the house, after that he had taken away the stones, and after he had scraped the house, and after it be plastered, then the priest shall then the priest shall come and look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the house, it is a fretting leprosy in the house, it is unclean. And he shall break down the house and the stones of it and the timber thereof and all the mortar of the house. And he shall carry them forth out of the city into an unclean place. Moreover, he had goeth into the house all the while that is shut up should be unclean until the even. And he that lieth in the house shall wash his clothes and he that eateth in the house shall wash his clothes. And if the priest shall come in and look upon it, and behold, the plague had not spread in the house after the house was plastered. Then the priest shall pronounce the house clean, because the plague is healed. And he shall take to cleanse the house two birds and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. And he shall kill the one of the birds in an earthen vessel over running water. And he shall take the cedar wood and the hyssop and the scarlet and the living bird and dip them in the blood of the slain bird and in the running water, and sprinkle the house seven times. And he should cleanse the house with the blood of the bird, and with the running water, and with the living bird, and with the cedar wood, and with the hyssop, and with the scarlet. But he shall let go the living bird out of the city into the open fields, and make an atonement for the house, and he shall be clean. This is the law for a manner of plague, of leprosy, and skull and for the leprosy of a garment, and of a house, and for a rising, and for a scab, and for a bright spot, to teach when it is clean, and when it is clean, this is the law of leprosy.
Matthew chapter 26, verse 51 through 75. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Then Jesus said unto him, Put up again thy sword into this place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scripture be fulfilled that thus it must be? In the same hour said Jesus to the multitude, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and stabs? For to take me, I sat daily with you teaching in the temp temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done, that the scripture of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. And they that laid hold on Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace, and went in, and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death, but found none, yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. And the last came two false witnesses, and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God, and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you here, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need we need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face and buffeted him, and others smote him with palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out in the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied him with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech bereath thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly.